White, and then Mike defense was much better than it had been in Blacksburg, yeah. but obviously the offense had another tough day. Yep. Has there been a common thread the past couple of games at that end of the court? Yeah, I think the defense, um, there were a couple breakdowns uh, crucial, and then we put a lot of pressure on our defense um, down the stretch. It just We had the possession or we lost a guy, but the defense held us in there enough to try to stay attached. I think IMAC had a shot that would have cut it to two or three. I think Jordan was at the line late to cut it to three, perhaps. Is that right? I missed the front end of a bonus. Um, you know, offensively, yeah, it's hard. I, you know, we, we, uh, we're a little better in the second half, um, but, you know, they're really keying in on a few guys and really playing off of some others. And we tried to get some mo more movement. Um, and again, some of those shots uh, we need to finish and, and knock them down. But you just um, you keep trying to get quality looks and work hard. But uh, again, and they defend it well, too. Uh, you know, they had a, a week to prepare, and they were, they were right defensively, made it hard. And you can see why they're a, a good team. But the effort was there. I told our guys after I said, you, I said, really good effort. You fought. And I said, I said, you were smart. Some of the time, most of the time, I said, but but not enough of the time to you know smart soundness, and that's what I talk about playing as 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 hard with effort as you can, but you got to play as smart and sound. And I thought there were some stretches where we got a little scattered, uh, and then a breakdown with a miscoverage or something, or even something offensively that we called cost us in a game like that. So, um, but great atmosphere, high quality team, um, and you know we just we'll, we'll keep going and get ready for the next one. <coughs> Tony, particularly in the first half, uh, Cormac Ryan getting free. Yes. I know against that offense, there's, there's probably somebody you're going to have to yeah. lose, but uh, did you anticipate him being that effective? Well, he got shots. I thought we ran into some screens uncharacteristically. We didn't lower our shoulder and get on his numbers and chase and didn't give enough help and got lost a couple times. Um, and then he, he made us pay um, with those shots. You know, he's got a lot of experience. That's an experienced team. And I think sometimes we show our inexperience in those games. Um, and, and possessions matter. Um, they're so important. That's why you get so mad if you feel like, oh, that should have been our ball or something happened. You just you feel all that because, you know, it's everything is is magnified in a big game and, and in you know situations like this. But he really was good in the first half, and um, I thought we we missed, uh, didn't tag him as close as we needed to, and you know that was the story for sure in the first half. Hey. Tony, the offensive difficulties you guys have had the last three games. How much does that feed on itself, and how much does it damage confidence? Sure. You didn't have a lot of shooting slumps in your career, I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, for sure. I mean, it comes part of it. I mean, teams are. That's why we're trying to do a few different things. Um, you know, they're 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 figuring some things out that are tough for us, and you know, and got to just take the shots when they're there. The right guys. We thought we opened some things up a little bit better in the second half. Got some stuff into the lane, downhill ball screens, um, and then. Try to get movement, but um, but yeah, no, I think that certainly gets into it. But you just again, when you got an open one, you got to take it. You got to get a good shot and, and be as good in the other areas, and um, that's that's the challenge right now. But we can't let up on the defensive end because there's still meaningful games left, of course. Yeah, Tony, you said you're trying some new things. You know, they're keying in on a few guys. What do you think, just with this personnel that you have this year, what is the best your offense could look? Yeah, you know, again, you know, making some shots always helps. When you can bang some threes, you got to, again, you got to earn and get good looks. You got to, again, capitalize if you can get to the line, um, you know, get some offensive rebounds, which we got. I thought Jordan did a good job for us. You know, he gave us everything he could battling against, obviously, who he had a battle against. And so we got some stuff there. But um, maybe guys play more confidence, but you got to, you got to, you do have to knock down some shots when it's there or finish a drive to just, keep it going and um, you know I always will look it's it's a little fresh was there enough quality looks did we get enough quality looks did we get there that's how I try to judge it um, and if you're not getting quality looks and there's some adjustments you can make okay but if you're getting quality looks and there's not going in then you just got to keep really repping those out and, and taking them and finding ways to um, you know have a, a bit more confidence and a bit more sureness in those settings <coughs> Tony, uh, Elijah played the most minutes he's yeah. played since December. I, I know he wasn't immune from the shooting issues, but um, what did you see from him? What did you like? Yeah, I, I think I saw, you know, he, he's practiced better. Um, and, you know, he, he, could, he drew some fouls, got to the line. I, I think, you know, him 
um, defensively, he, you know, he's, it's it's a lot, right? He's a f first year out there, so he's got the athleticism. He's got to keep staying ready in that spot. But it was it's good to see him get that experience. And again, you see those bursts of athleticism and touching the paint and grabbing some rebounds. And you know, um, so I thought, you know, I thought maybe he could touch the paint and do that, and he did it a little bit. Um, but kind of like all of us, we struggled to certainly shoot the ball. Hey, coach. It seemed like, especially in the first half, you got some touches inside and didn't finish over contest. Did you feel like their length was bothering you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, we tried to get some stuff inside and go and a little better in the second half at that. But yeah, no, I mean, they are long, they're athletic, and they do contest. But that's where you, you want to get those, get that ball in there, either get it on the glass or make the kick out and um, just trying a variety of things. But yeah, they did bother some of those shots. And we just missed a couple, I think, that probably we should have made or could have made. Uh, two more. <clears throat> yeah, Coach, you guys match your lowest scoring total in the first half. What did you say in the second half to kind of trigger that, that bounce back? Yeah, our, our amazing 28-point second half. No, but, but it was better. We just talked. We tried to you know, make little adjustments and, and said, you've missed some shots in the first half. You're gonna, some of those are going to fall, and, and some of them did, not, not as many as we hoped. But I thought we got maybe, again, off my recollection, a little better shots in the lane, attacking the rim, couple offensive rebounds, and even a couple rhythm looks from three um, that, that helped and at least allowed us to have a chance to be in a one or two possession game late. OK, last one, David. Tony, you were, you were actually ahead of them on the offensive glass tonight. But how big were those couple late yeah. that Baycott and Ingram Huge. got to extend possessions? Yeah, I thought, one, we had two hands on the ball. Was that the free throw, the RJ David, it. on the um, back end of the one on one, I think? That was big. And then there's one a play in there. So yeah. I, those are the things, you know, you just, when it comes down to those games, you, you have to, you got to be able to come up with that. I mean, if you want to say you got to make a play, you got to possess the ball. You can't turn it over. You got to be sound. You got to go. So th those are those things that, you know, we talked about, like, we could got to be a touch sure in those areas. Again, effort was good and guys were trying and had a lot of it had to do with UNC. But those are the plays that you remember, like, oh, we got it to where at least it was there. The crowd was great. Um, I think they're fighting for these guys as hard as they can, um, but uh, we'll keep battling for sure. Okay, thanks, Coach Davis. Yep. <clears throat>